I think Twice is the most underrated K-pop group. They get plenty of attention. Like people like Twice, but they don't like Twice enough. I think Twice is so good. What's up, friends? Today we're checking out the latest album by Twice. This album's coming pretty quick off of their last album, Between One and Two, that just came out. Oh, it's just like just a few months ago. More, all getting ready, getting more Twice. How exciting! Am, am I right? This is, this is great news. We'll be looking at this album from the perspective of a producer and songwriter. Let's get into it. We're starting with a very 80s sound, very 80s influence. I love that contrast between that really low synth bass and the higher sweet vocals. It creates this nice balance in the track. I love the way the strings almost seem to like burst, you know, just like this big old explosion at the end of the phrase or the, the string phrase. I'm gonna tag you straight, no matter what they say. Great way to start an album. I always say you want to start an album catchy, big, and fun. Get us in the mood to listen to something cool. And this song does that, absolutely. Bridge is dope. I like how they go into more of a halftime with some trap hi-hats. Very trap sounding with that wrapping on top of it. Really cool. I like how restrained the belts are. You know, they're very controlled, very precise belts that keep the vibrato and the vocal from getting too intense. And that's just like a common theme you hear throughout, especially in the chorus and in the second verse. Really liked that second verse. Wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. Uh, like it got to that point and I was like, oh, that's like, it's really great vocal technique right there. Really impressed. Moonlight Sunrise is next up. I don't know how to say I love the pre-chorus. I don't even know how to say this. I hope this song is on your playlist. Stripping back that low end. It's got the atmospheric synth in the vocals. And it's just really beautifully sung. I love the vocal production on this whole song. The harmonies are so cool. And there's like this like slight muttering they keep a lot of the consonant sounds in there it's a little less precise than like most k-pop songs but it has more of a natural feel that i really enjoy it's cool great use of vocals throughout that song i really like the fact that i'm not sure all the time where the synthesizers end and where the vocals begin Good vamping at the end on that last chorus. Again, experiencing those really clean, restrained belts that just sound excellent. Uh, a lot of like this this phenomenon where they're they're doing octaves. They have this higher line in a head voice, and then the lower line is um, just sung pretty normally, but it's fairly low in the mix. And it blends really well with the synths, so it's not like super noticeable, but it does help to bring out the vocal lines. Yeah, I really like when there's minimal amount of instrumentation used so that the vocals and the vocal layering can really shine through. And you hear that on this song, for sure, they've got, you know, they've got the drums, they've got the bass, and they've got maybe like one synth at a time they sometimes switch between this more arpeggiating synth and a atmospheric sounding synth i like how much vocals there are I like how much room they give for the vocals as this is like a vocal pop group and so it's smart to always remember hey those vocals need to be at the forefront this is what the people want they like the production that's part of k-pop they they dig our really interesting production patterns and how you know top of the line it is that's the appeal for sure but there's this obsession over individual members that we have to pay attention to got the thrills is next up i love those shouted vocals in that first verse it's 
the got the thrills like it's so fun it's so engaging That first chorus is such a burst of excitement. Those guitars are so cool. It's so funky and so fun. It's so fresh sounding. It's so explosive. Oh, oh, love it. Love that outro. And I love the blend of different electronic styles. You're implementing things from the more like 90s early 2000s electronic style that has that very like ddr sound you got some of that funkiness from the 80s coming in there and you've got the 2010s build in that bridge where they have this kind of like reverse hi-hat reverse crash sound that builds into the chorus super cool super cool yeah also, I realized that part I referred to earlier as a first verse was more like a pre-chorus. Interesting that they have the title of the song in the pre-chorus, not the chorus. A little unusual, but Jiminy Cricket, if I didn't enjoy it, really liked that one. I really enjoyed that piece of music. That's like that's that's a playlist song right there for me. That's such a fun song. Such a celebration of life. Next up is Blame it on me. You were selling to me, you were, you were selling to me. You were falling for me, you were, you were falling for me. Uh. That end of the first verse of that, you can, you can ask me, baby, you can, you can ask me, is such a cool rhythm to contrast against that very steady, like, country rock rhythm they got going on. Sweet. I was so hoping that they repeated that chorus in the way they do in the first chorus. It's so brilliant. The strip away, the really like whispered vocal type thing. And they've got like this octaver, taking things like a, an octave or two lower to give it this really monstrous vibe. Oh, and then the big explosion at the end, like the second part of the chorus. Mm. Don't blame it on me. Okay, so normally, I don't like country rock-inspired music. You know, when a pop artist does a country rock thing, it's normally the song that I skip on an album. For example, when Hal Halsey did it on Manic, I was just like, this isn't, this isn't it, you know? Not a big country guy, personally. But this song slaps! What the heck? It's just a, a work of art here. Great. This is exactly what should be done with that genre. It's so fresh and it's so rhythmically interesting. They still got the belts that you would expect from that genre. There's this, they almost have like a little bit of country twang to their vocals in this really interesting way, but it's not something I would have ever expected to hear. Like if you would have said like, oh yeah, there's going to be country rock influenced K-pop on this Twice album. I would have been like, ah, oh, shut up. That's a bunch of bull crap. But then here it is. Here we are. Wow. Excellent. Excellent use. I loved the drawn back nature. I loved the, the grittiness of the guitars. Real nice sound they got out of that. And the vocals were phenomenal. The vocal rhythms were so cool. And they were so just like in the pocket. Such a great blend of elements. I'm, I'm just so impressed. I love that like weird like creepiness to that course reminds me a lot of the type of thing i would do on my album giovanni uh which where, where i would you know drop vocals down and give this like kind of weird creepy whispery thing but i didn't do that explosion afterwards i really like that explosion exactly after it i think it's super cool whoo 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 wallflower next up <laughs> I love that high vocal usage in the pre-chorus. Sweet. Great contrast to this kind of like chill vibe. Very EDM. That chorus 
is so catchy. The last part of the chorus, the it's so good that I could just like listen to a whole song of just that because it's so brilliant. It's I love how they break up the word like that. It's so playful and so cool. <laughs> What a freaking song and a half. Great. Great everything. You know, the verses were sick. I really liked the rhythms going on. Great production. I liked the stripping away of elements at the right point, the addition of elements at the right point. Make those choruses feel really distinct and interesting from one another. And that second time through, they repeat that chorus, the first part of the chorus. And it's so functional. You know? Like, the way that they take away quite a few elements and then add them back in to make that second time through so much bigger is so cool. And then they repeat the end part too, which I was so grateful for because the first time I went through, I was like, that was not long enough. I loved that portion of the song and I wanted it to be longer. And then they made it longer. It's like they could hear me. They could hear my thoughts. Oh, I love this so much. I think Twice is the most underrated K-pop group. They get plenty of attention. Like, people like Twice, but they don't like Twice enough. I think Twice is so good. I think the stuff that goes on is so consistent and so excellent. Anyway. I, I need not gush over how good these guys are. Crazy Stupid Love is next up. I think that's the name of a movie. With Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I started that first verse thinking, ah, I don't love this, but it's okay. And then I heard the, like, response background vocals, and I was like, hold the phone. This is now sick. That's so interesting, what they're doing. Their chord choices are fascinating. <laughs> that second verse rap on this one it has my favorite rap flow of the entire album so far. I haven't been really caught up in the rapping pre this song but that song i was like that's great crazy stupid love has good rapping it's very short but it's great i really dig that harmony usage on the love 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 crazy stupid love 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 it's cool that's a cool part that's like a great part of the song as well not my favorite track on the album, but it's like the first track that I haven't just loved. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty good accomplishment. And it's still cool. Like, I still like it. I wouldn't skip it, you know? If I was doing a listen through this album, I'd be like, yeah, no, this song can stay on. It's got enough cool things going on that I still like it. I just think the overall aesthetic for the song is a little more bubblegum than I'm used to four twice so it's not like it's not totally in my vibe but i understand why it would be in a lot of people's vibes it is doing a lot of interesting things i really like the hi-hats that they use on this song they have a, a longer tail to them than most trappy hi-hats which this is a fairly like trappy sound from those hi-hats and i appreciate that the last song is just a english version of the first song but hey Let's get it. I think the pre-chorus works really well in English. And I think their English pronunciation is actually really good, especially compared to like other K-pop groups. You can tell they have someone on their team who's really focusing on making sure it sounds super, super just good. Super like that the accents aren't off. And we're done with the album. You know, I don't like this part about American and like English culture, which makes us very English centric and not as accepting of music in other languages in terms of like radio airplay, especially. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's foolish. You know, the fact that Shakira didn't break through 
an American audience until she did a song like Hips Don't Lie, when her Spanish speaking is so superior, like her Spanish singing is so superior. And the same thing with Twice Here. You know, I can tell that they're doing an English version of that song to try to really get into like American radio and American audiences, which they totally deserve because Twice is great. They're phenomenal. But I wish it didn't have to be like that because I think the standard version of Set Me Free is superior in every way, shape, and form. I think it just works better as a Korean song with some English lyrics. It still sounded cool. It was still a good song. Like, we don't take away from the fact that the song is excellent. And I really like the pre-chorus in English. There's just parts I think are functional in English. But it's just not... It's not the same song. You know? It's like when I heard Raviosa in English for the first time. I was just like, what the heck is this? Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts in general on this album. This album was awesome. I liked it a lot. I, I, twice never ceases to delight. They're just great. They always get great production, great singing. All the singing is great throughout this album. A lot of phenomenal vocals, great melody writing. I think Wallflower might be my favorite track just because of that end part of the chorus. The, the way they play with the word Wallflower is so genius it's so cool that's that's as catchy as you get i could do a whole song of that if you've enjoyed my thoughts if it, they've helped you further enjoy this piece of music i'd really appreciate it if you liked commented shared and subscribed also check out my music i've got an album called giovanni that i think you will enjoy that's it catch on the flip i will tear you apart broken